Pillbug9 here with another episode of Pillbug Craft. So, as you can probably tell from the uh, colors of wool here that I'm holding, we're gonna be uh, preparing some stuff for the holidays here. I can do this all day. <laughs> uh, this kind of looks like flashing lights or something. But uh, anyway. And, uh, yeah, something else that I kind of did, which you're probably gonna notice here in a moment, off-camera was I took some of our camera heads that we collected last time and I stuck them up around our base. I think I'm gonna need to go ahead and collect a few more of these, probably off-camera or something. But, that's what I've done there. But, anyway... I have a bit of a holiday thing that I need to do here. So, uh... Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna be placing a little machine here to kind of help bring in the holidays. I'm not gonna have this machine, like, actually... It's gonna be like a little minigame kind of thing. I'm not going to have us actually turn it on, necessarily, until December hits, but we need to at least build the thing, because that's going to take a little bit, and we also need to stock it up with some rewards and stuff, too. So, I guess where's a good place to put this thing? I guess since a fair bit of the redstone for this is going to be underground, I'd rather not actually put it in the desert. So, let's see. The problem is there's a lot of places here that have, like, stuff under the ground. Thinking maybe we should put it near here. I don't think anyone's built right under the ground here apart from us. So, yeah. And we should check this while we're here. No new payments since last time. Okay. So, I guess we'll have to see if we can route the path off this way. I think let's put it next to our B store here. Let's clear this out here. Of the grass. And let's actually see if we can make this level as well. I think we're taken care of. Trying to remember how large this building is, because I've built it in creative mode, of course. So, I guess actually I have a picture of how large the outside of this place is. Let's see, that looks like it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, hi. Pillbug9 from the future here. Uh... So, when I'm editing this video, I have noticed that, for some reason, my recording software failed to record any of the Minecraft audio for the rest of the video from this point forth. So, I'm gonna see if I can put, like, some background music under there and stuff and see if I can figure out why exactly that happened, so that I can, uh, hopefully prevent that from happening again in the future. But, I guess, enjoy the rest of the video. Six. Six blocks in every direction. So if we started it, like, here, the center on these two blocks, I guess let's use some grass grass to uh, visualize this. So if this is the center, and then we go out so that it's six blocks across. That's six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So that's six blocks. And then if we went back another six, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, if we went back another six, then that would take care of this issue. So... 
So I guess this is going to be the footprint of our thing. Huh. Not going to lie, it looked bigger in my creative testing world. But, uh... Anyway... I guess we'll just have to go ahead and, uh, see here, then. But this definitely does appear to be the right size. So let's keep the center point marked down, because we gotta put the redstone in this thing first. So let's go ahead and center it like so, because that'll give us plenty of room. And uh, we're gonna have to move this lamp a little bit over as well. Okay, there we go. Now, I do have a redstone tutorial up, so, uh... Probably going to be starting to build this, and I'll be checking back periodically, I think. So... Yes. Okay, I've gotten most of the redstone, uh, situated here. There's only one more thing we need to do, and we need a little bit more of a certain resource in order to do that. So, first of all, what we need, well, we need more sticks first of all. First of all, we need these. And then, one, two, three, four. Oh, we need four of these. I guess that's actually not exactly what we needed first, though. So let's put the four of these away for now. And we need to run back to our base to grab something. Because what we're trying to do here is set up an item filter kind of system. 
so so that's what we're gonna go do at this point but I have a particular item in mind and we're gonna have to rename these as well because uh, because of the idea that I have for that machine over there that we're building it's going to be a Christmas themed thing. I think it's going to be the uh, naughty or nice token hunt. And that's going to be the machine for it. Bees look a lot like token as these sunflowers. So we're going to hide a bunch of renamed sunflowers around the place. So they're going to be token as that go with that machine that we're building. I think the idea is that the machine that we're building is going to tell you if you found a naughty token or a nice token and give you a reward based on that. Of course, it's pretty much just going to be a randomizing system. It has a slightly higher chance to give you a bad one, which will hopefully keep it interesting, but there's also going to be an extremely good reward you can get from this thing, along with a few other rewards that are a bit better. So, anyway, we need to set up this filter is what the deal is here. Um, we should have renamed these, actually, before we came back here. I don't know why that's permanently open now. Uh, but, yeah. I guess we should have renamed this, so... I'll be back once we've renamed these, I guess. Okay, there we go. That's been renamed and everything. So, we need to grab these. Let's throw that over there. And set up our item filter. Throw that over there. <sighs> so, hopefully we're good here. So we gotta remove one of these. And to set it up, we gotta put that in there. Followed by these. And now we should get a redstone output through this thing. If we put this in here. But it isn't draining for some reason. Huh. Okay, we're missing a piece of redstone dust that is supposed to go here. Hopefully this fixes it. This piece of redstone actually means that maybe we don't need all of this up here. Here for the note blocks. Yeah, I think that'll still power when it needs to, so I'll hijack the signal there for that. Now, nah, hopefully this works. Yep. Yep, that was the problem. So, yeah. <laughs> One little bit of redstone where it's not supposed to be, or a bit of redstone that isn't there when there is supposed to be redstone there. You know, it can really mess you up when building these things, apparently. Anyway, I think we have this working right now. Now all we need to do is remember that this is what we called them and spell it exactly like that. And it's of course going to be against the rules to make your own token as these have to be ones that you find. So we're going to write that into the rule book when we get around to doing that step. But... Right now, if you were to throw it in here, nothing would shoot out of the machine. Because what we need to do... Oh. Is it looks like we covered up our dispenser. I think it's right here. Or not. Where'd we put our dropper again? Behind here, okay. Hmm. Is that 
gonna shoot out sideways and land in the hopper. If we put something in there. Um, uh, let's see. Let's say we put grass in there. And then if we throw our token in the system. Yeah, it does shoot out to the side. That means there's a chance that this hopper might go ahead and eat your reward item. I hmm. think I had this actually shifted over one block in my testing world. That is probably how... Um, that's a bit of an issue there. Guess I could try to move the hopper over to here and f do a direct invert inversion of what I was doing before. Okay, so this is where it would be then if we inverted it. Yeah, let's go ahead and invert the thing from what it was. And we need one more for that. We had an extra one of these somewhere, but I forget where it went. Yeah, we just need to put it there. Now, did we put it away in here? Huh. Because I know I had an extra one on us. Oh. It's clogged up in there. Now that I am thinking about it here, we should probably have a separate chest, maybe. So that things can't clog up the item filter. Because if that hopper fills up with junk, like the one before this, then we're kind of stuck. Hmm. Guess we'll have to think about that, actually. And go look into hopper mechanics to figure that out. Anyway, I think for now, we're good. And we've reversed that, which means this is going to take slightly longer to process things now. It also means we have the wrong carpet, too. Let's do that. There we go. I guess this just means that periodically we're going to have to check down in here to make sure nothing fell in by accident. Until I can potentially get that figured out. But anyway, now what we need to do is we need to stock this thing up with, uh... We need to stock it up with rewards is what we need to do. And also we need to cover over the back of this place, too. That's covered over now. Need to go ahead and sleep. So I think maybe next what we're gonna do is we're gonna build up the rest of the outside of this thing. So we're gonna leave this open so that we can easily like get it the inside of our machine though. So I'll be back in a moment. And there we go, the top of this thing is now spawn-proofed. So, I think our giant Christmas present-shaped machine is now more or less complete, except for the fact that there's nothing in it. And I also need to hide the tokens. I think the tokens I'm not gonna hide until December hits. So, I'll probably hide the tokens and this in the first video of December. Of course, I'm not going to show where I hit them on video, with the exception of maybe one or two of them, just to kind of show how they are going to be hidden. But what we still have left to do today is we need to at least get the machine loaded with materials and stuff. 
and I guess I also need to put a lectern here and put a book in the lectern. And obviously, so that you can't just go in here and take a reward from the machine, we're obviously going to cover this one this up with a piece of this green wool to finish our pattern here. And we're also going to put up some signs as well. I'm uh, explaining that this is where you're meant to throw your tokens into. And stuff. So, anyway, though, I guess what are the... What are good rewards for this thing? I guess we can potentially stock it with logs, maybe. As one of the rewards. Of course, the main thing that... That you're probably going to be getting from this is coal. Because that's kind of the whole classic thing for being naughty right there. About six is a stack. We need four of these stacks of coal. And we're going to rename each stack as well at our anvil. So let's see what we can do here. Guess actually, let's go ahead and file this into our ender chest, and then we're gonna head over to our next location here. But I think I should go ahead and pack up some of this stuff. So I'll pack up the stuff that we used to build this, and then I'll be back. But we're gonna rename the thing that's the most likely for you to get. And then we'll also collect a few other materials from our base as well. Alright, now then, we should be able to rename four stacks of coal as soon as we grab our four stacks of coal. There, four stacks of coal. Which, the coal is not actually bad, or though then again, you have to keep in mind that you'll be getting coal one at a time. <laughs> Depending on how many tokenness you have. I guess I'm trying to think materials that are okay to be getting one at a time of. So, I guess we'll see. I guess iron's not a bad one. Maybe we'll fill the system with one stack. We're gonna need to go mining after we stock up our thing, aren't we? Yeah, because this is going to use up quite a bit of iron. Although, there's a good chance that we're gonna get back a lot of this iron at the end of it. So, one stack of iron. So, that'll be one of the things there. That isn't a bad thing to get one at a time. Probably better than coal, but still. I guess I'm trying to think what else you can get one by one of. That we can put in there in a full stack. I guess let's come up with a name for what we're gonna call this. Let's see, is there a way to like copy that out of here? <laughs> ah! Hmm. We're gonna put a stack of iron into the system here. Here we can't afford to rename the rest of our stuff. Uh well that's a bit of a problem there. So I'd rather not put half a stack in. Huh. Well. Eh, how come anvils have to be so expensive anyways? And not last for very long. Well, now we don't have enough iron to put in there. Oh well. Well, I guess I'll have to figure that out then. Anyway, let's see if we can name the rest of these. Okay, so there's our most common reward taken care of. Now I want to mix it up with a few different types of items. With uh, three different types of items in a stack. And then... A few other kinds of items. 
that are not in a stack. So I guess we'll have to see here. I guess a stack of emeralds might work if I had a stack of emeralds, that is. Um, I can probably get that, actually, a stack of emeralds. Anything good in here that we could go ahead and incorporate? Mm, getting one piece of gunpowder at a time isn't actually that good of a reward. Hmm. Trying to think what else we could easily provide that you could really be getting... That you'd f feel good about getting... One at a time. Hmm. Anyway, we will go put the coal on the system first. And then we're gonna probably end up in the end, so... I'll swing by the machine that we built. And then we'll go to the end after that. And we're gonna bring one of these with us just in case we need it. Okay, and we're in the end. So, let's see if we can find our way over to one of those end gateways real quick. Um, I think only one of these... Ah! Oh, for... Really? Well, that didn't last long. Would have preferred that we didn't have that in our hand for that, actually. Because that's a real big pain in the butt. Um. Anyway, I think that's the only end gateway. Debating about if we should actually head back and grab another totem. <sighs> yeah, let's go ahead and repair our wings, actually. While we're in here, and then we're probably going back to grab another totem. What a waste that first one was. Because I really don't want to die when we're further out, but... Wasn't expecting to die from an Enderman that quickly. Okay, take two without getting completely destroyed by an Enderman this time. So we're gonna just keep our crosshairs down like so. Until we get over to the end gateway. Okay, let's just go over here and into the gateway. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna screenshot that, just in case, because I always forget to do that part. Now, well now I think I'm gonna have us fly that way.
Okay, I've got our coordinates of where we were. So I believe that we need to go that way. For like a thousand blocks or so. Hopefully the wings hold up. Okay. And now we're back. Good. Well, I think we've got plenty of stuff to stock up our thing with now. So let's see if we can pack up a lot of this. Put that away. Yeah, we got like 32 for ourselves, a full stack of shulker shells that we can stick in the machine. Well, I think that pretty much does us here, apart from naming this box. And I don't think I'm gonna name the rest of these rewards. I'm just gonna leave them as is. Eh. And not only because I'm out of levels. Although, mainly because I'm out of levels. Okay, now to name this. There we go, the ultimate holiday box. <laughs> So there's going to be a 1 in 9 chance of winning that during the event. Along with a 1 in 9 chance of winning that, that, or that. Which I think are pretty decent rewards for this thing as well. Now, the coal has already been put in the machine. I think I might actually write the book off camera here. And the reason for that is because we're probably out of time for this episode as soon as we go put this stuff in the machine. So... Oh, and we need more rockets as well. Let's see if we can grab ourselves some more. Uh, no flight duration one left. In that case, I guess I'll be back in a moment with the rockets. Okay, and I made more fireworks. So, anyway, let's head back over to our machine here that we have. Probably need to extend the path over to this way, too. Um, let's see if we can do that while we're here. That'll take care of that. Okay, so remember there'll be a lectern here and stuff. We should have brought one piece of lime wool. Oh well. Anyway, we'll put that in like so. It shouldn't matter where everything is in here, as it should just go ahead and uh, pick stuff at random. So I'll just put it in there like that. And then we need one piece of lime wool. Yeah, I think I did a decent job making the path kind of swerve over that way. But anyway, yeah. So we just need a bit of green wool to plug that up, and then I think this machine is all set. We just need to be able to hide the tokens around and stuff. So we'll do that first thing in December. So I'll just cover that over and then I'll need to get the electron there as well. So I'll be back with those two things. Okay, there we go. I have exactly what we need to finish this thing up here. So we cover that over. Perfect. And put a lectern there. And then the book's gonna go on the lectern like uh, so, but there's nothing written in there yet, and the machine is like closed at the moment. So let's see what we can do here. Actually, yeah, not open yet. Hopefully that gets the message across that it's not open yet. Plugged up the only input so that it doesn't get plugged up with a bunch of junk. Like of people trying to figure out how to activate it. It's not ready to be activated yet. Well then, guess 
I'll probably go back and put a sign there that says it's not open yet, but time for the outro, I guess, as we head back into our base to sleep the night away here. So, I guess if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. If you really loved it, consider subscribing. And, well, my name is Obug9, and so long till next time.